uh, with that, let's let's get into something that definitely upset many a people on what we may refer to as the World Wide Web. Um, Nintendo announced a new Switch model. Um, Nintendo announced the newest entry to the Nintendo. Switch Oh, that's redundant to put Nintendo twice. Nintendo announced the newest entry in the Switch family with not the Switch Pro, but an updated model price at $350, uh, sporting a 7-inch OLED screen, wide adjustable stand, built-in LAN port, and more available starting uh, October 8th. Uh, this comes in stark contrast to what countless uh, leakers, uh, forum posters, articles, and the general rumor mill have spread in regards to the Switch Pro sporting 4K resolutions and DLSS technology. Uh, industry analyst Matt Piscatella notes that, his, that historically oh, I'm sorry, that historically speaking, uh, revisions of Nintendo portable hardware were, were released for the purpose of maintaining sales performances and preventing the pull of price drops and sale inventory. Um, yeah, this seems like a very Nintendo-ass Nintendo move to keep the train going for uh, continual Switch sales, which they continue to do. And I, I really wish Mesa was on for this episode because I every, everyone on the show everyone that, that is watching knows that Mace was like the most freaking hype for this. He's like, oh my god, it's going to have 4K you know, DLSS. Like, this is the shit. He was hyped for it. And it, it was not that at all. <laughs> so, hey, it may not be 4K DLSS, may not be hitting that 60 FPS, but you know what? You can play that hot 720p sub 30 frames but now you can do it on a OLED screen. There you go. Air hallway, which I am too weirded out by. <laughs> I'm just that scene of that man getting home, throwing his shoes off and sitting in his hallway. <laughs> <laughs> which I mean, hey, it's handheld for a reason, but like your hallway? I'm I mean, I, I constantly go back and forth with the idea of getting a Switch Lite because I'm just like, I don't I don't really play my Switch right now as is. Um, but I'm just like, the Switch Lite is so much more comfortable as a, as a handheld device. I'm just like, eh, do I really need to spend $350 for a slightly better screen? And, I, and stand, I, I guess. One. I am, I'm, I just stare at the cute dock all day. The cute little Tom, Tom Nook and his two adoptive sons well i i will admit docking is quite a fun activity but uh i, mean, I have I not done it in quite a bit i don't play a dock i think the last time i played a dock was fucking fire emblem to see the romancing plot cinematics on the tv i apologize for that all but just look on your face <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm not, I wasn't going to say anything. I wasn't going to say anything, I'm but sorry. I just. I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm so ashamed. It's not good. Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, if someone doesn't have a Switch already, which I'd be surprised if people didn't. Um, but hey, these Nintendo still sells them like hotcakes. Um, yeah, it's, you can't go wrong with it's, it's fifty dollars more expensive, but it's whatever, I guess. It's really interesting that they like these like incremental upgrades are always sort of focused on the the handheld version of it. So like a, a bigger OLED screen or you know the Switch Lite didn't have the detachable Joy-Cons and it just seems like they are leaning more into to improving the handheld experience. Uh there there was that update where they made the battery life better and then like everyone but everyone on the internet is like but we want a better dock. We want to have, you know, 4K and cooler TV stuff. But then Nintendo is just like, no, we're going to give you handheld stuff. So, meh. Mm -hmm. I do like the white Joy Joy Cons, though. Those look. Oh, the, those look nice. Like, really slick. I'm like, if you sell those by themselves, I will buy them. <laughs> I, I think I'm so butthurt that I couldn't get the uh, red and blue uh, Joy-Cons at launch. I just got the uh, black, gray, whatever you want to call them. So, if, I, I, hypothetically, if I were to get a... Uh, it's not called a new Switch. It's literally just like an updated model. Um, the OLED the, Switch. The uh, Switch OLED. The Switch OLED. Okay. Um, if, if I were to get one, I would, I would get uh, the one with the red and blue. I but will. I, uh, I will say. So I checked the day they announced it. I checked on Amazon. That thing's not up for pre-order yet, which honestly surprises me. I the scalpers thought, are going to get it anyway. Yeah, I thought it yeah. would be up as soon as they announced it. No, that thing's not up. 
Also, it, if people notice, the box is just a square now. And I'm so confused on how that works. <laughs> like, the box isn't like a giant hulky rectangle anymore. It's like literally it would, just a square. It would just have to be like seven by seven, right? Does it come? Because it com- comes with a dock, right? Yeah, so that means the box is a square and it's probably a fat ass square. Because they probably have like the switch on top and then you remove a piece of cardboard and the dock's in it. At least that's just what I'm guessing. Well, you but, see, it, it it comes in a square package instead of a circle because it's not an all around upgrade. I will say though, I will probably I'm turning my webcam off <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the- <laughs> because I still have the Pokemon Go switch, not Pokemon Go. The uh, let's go. let's go, yeah, just sitting around my house because I couldn't find anyone to fucking buy it on eBay, so it's just sitting there. So I will most likely sell that and get this just to, like... Because I do want to see the difference. Like, let's just be honest here. I personally want to see the difference. Is it going to be a crazy difference? No. Do I want to see it? Yes. Like, (laughs) especially if they pull that thing where certain games get an upgrade on it. I I will say the last time I bought a a piece of Nintendo hardware that was supposed to have, like, some minor improvements for some games, it was... um, what was it the, the new uh, 3DS? And there was like maybe two games that had the uh, little nub support, and then it had like some frame rate differences. But like overall, it was just like, yeah, no, you were probably better off just getting like a regular 3DS XL or whatever. So, uh, personal recommendation without having looked at the OLED screen, but knowing what OLEDs look like, because I am the proud, I was the proud owner of a Vita. Uh, rest in peace, Vita. Um. Yeah, maybe just get it if you don't have a Switch already. <laughs> That's about it. I mean, it's going to be more more colorful. If That's you true. To go by. What about you, Atma? Uh, I guess, like, I would consider getting it just because like, I play my Switch right now in handheld mode most of the time, and I have, like, the original Switch, so I didn't, don't even have the, the better battery life one. And so, like, it would be a decent enough upgrade for me of like trading in and upgrading if i wasn't so concerned about transferring files and nintendo's Mm -hmm. like between system profile synergy or whatever Mm because it's always horror stories with nintendo (laughs) when you're (laughs) trying to transfer things or like make your primary switch a different switch and whatever Mm -hmm. and like that's the main reason i stick with the one i have it's just like i don't want to deal with all their I, yes. I I think it's for that exact reason I haven't gotten a Switch Lite because like there, there's been countless times where I've put that new uh, purple blue Switch Lite, the one that looks like just like the GameCube color scheme. I, I've had that in my Amazon cart. I'm just like, no, I don't need it. I'm not even playing my Switch. Why am I going to spend two hundred dollars trying to save it for a house here? Um, <laughs> but just just like yeah, it's, it's transferring saves and account and like Nintendo makes such a hassle out of it. Xbox and uh, PlayStation pretty damn good about it stuff on like steam is pretty seamless but yeah nintendo's still in the uh stone ages with that for the most part just remember getting my animal crossing switch i thankfully i got it at a GameStop, so i was able to like like if i wanted to trade in my last switch i could have like later down the line but like if if you're trying to ch- trade like trade in a second console to transfer your stuff you have to wait because a lot of GameStops won't let you stand off to the side and transfer your shit over. Mm-hmm. And that can sometimes take upwards from 30 minutes to like an hour, depending on your Wi-Fi connection and depending on how much that you're transferring over. Yeah, it's like it's like a catch-22. It's It's not great. Yeah, and it's like, let us remind people of those who sent their switches off to Nintendo for like save file troubles or like, Joy-Con drifting, and Nintendo went, hey, we fixed it! We also wiped your entire console, too. (laughs) And people lost, like, 300 hours in, like, Zelda, or, like, 100 in, like, Smash. It's, like, Nintendo is so counterintuitive, and it was so bad that I I remember I watched the OLED trailer, and there was a fucker using the dumb app on his phone to chat with his friends while playing Splatoon, (laughs) and I'm like, why do you advertise this? Just use Discord at that point, it's just like, why? 
Like, he's literally, he goes on his phone, he opens the app, sets his phone on his counter, grabs his, like, uh, I think he grabbed, like, a pro controller, and he's playing Splatoon 3 on his OLED Switch, and mouthing as if he's talking to someone on the dumb app. Like, I don't, I don't got that app existed until I saw it in the trailer, and I'm like, you're still advertising this piece of garbage? Yeah, it's, I mean, at least Nintendo charges, tw- what is it, 20 bucks a year? Compared to sixty on Xbox and um, Xbox and Microsoft, Xbox and PlayStation, but just use Discord, my my guys. Just that's it. that's the best thing you can say about Nintendo Online is that it's not that expensive, but also you don't get fucking anything, <laughs> which makes sense why it's only five dollars per month. <laughs> I I I will, I will give a very condensed mini version of this, and then we can move. Actually, no, two two points. Uh, one, I totally forgot my girlfriend has been wanting my Switch for a quick minute, so I'm just like, ooh, if I get the OLED one, I can just give her my old one. There you go. T- two birds, one stone. Um, but segue slash transition to the next topic. Um, I I cannot stand having to pay to play online on consoles. I, it's it's very It's very odd to me. From at least like a PC perspective, where you're not getting anything substantial that you're not getting a free equivalent on PC for, it's I I, I think it's very dumb. Like I I, I get the practicalities of why they do it because hey, it's a lot of money they put into whatever aspect of their company and whatnot. But there's no reason why they should be charging you to play online, especially when you're playing a game uh, and you're not necessarily connecting to like PlayStation servers or Xbox servers. You're connecting to whatever game service to play their game. It's, it's not Microsoft that's like, hey, we're going to run this this siege uh, match for you or anything like that. So many, many yeah, ran remember, over. Remember back in the day when you had to have Xbox Live to watch Netflix? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, fun oh, times. You, oh, you know what? It was so much worse in the 360 day too, because um, if if I recall collect- correctly, the overwhelming majority of uh of servers for for 360 equivalents of games, not even the PS3 one, which was you know PSN was th- was free back then. Um, Xbox 360 servers were all P to P, which means uh player to player. So you'd be your internet connection and ping would be reliant on somebody else. It wasn't even like a dedicated server. So, I mean, I. At least that's that's gotten better, but yeah, it be what it be. Mini rant over. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can go into bigger detail, but I won't for my own sanity. Um, 